If cancer is detected early, it is a possibility that the result is an improved outcome in survival. At the moment, cancers are usually detected either through symptoms, so for example, it's through a lump in breast cancer, alteration in bowel habit in colorectal cancer, or a persistent cough in lung cancer, or the cancer is detected through imaging, such as a mammogram, a CT scan, or a chest X-ray. An exciting new way of cancer detection and monitoring is currently being developed. This is by measuring the circulating tumor DNA or CT DNA. The reason why this is an exciting area is because we can measure this by using a simple blood test. So what is CT DNA? While well, CTDNA stands for circulating tumor DNA, it specifically relates to fragments of DNA that are shed by cancer cells into the bloodstream. CTDNA in the bloodstream is able to provide information about the origin of cancer cells based on the genetic mutations and markers present in that blood sample. So these changes are cancer specific. So mutations or alterations that are unique to breast cancer, for example, are not commonly found in other cancer types. Doctors may then use additional imaging tests to confirm the cancer diagnosis. At the moment, CTDNA is used in clinical research trials and not widely practiced clinically, but there are already quite a few advantages that are obvious to see. So what are they? They are less invasive. As mentioned, CTDNA can be measured from a small amount of blood. And so a simple blood test is all that is needed. Another advantage is that it is accessible. Currently, the mainstay of making a diagnosis is by sampling the tissue of the cancer with a biopsy, which can be an invasive procedure, especially if the area that needs to be targeted is difficult to access, for example, if it's deep within a body cavity or close to a blood vessel. Another advantage is real-time monitoring. Because CTDNA provides real-time information about the cancer, it can be used for real-time monitoring of how the cancer is progressing or responding to treatment. Early stage detection. CTDNA testing can be used to detect early stage cancer before it's visible on imaging or before symptoms occur. So how can we use CTDNA in the diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer? There are several areas in which this technology can be helpful. So as mentioned, it can be used to early detect breast cancer recurrence. Dr. Melinda Telly, an associate professor of medical oncology in Stanford University School of Medicine, suggests that detectable CTDNA post-treatment is a strong predictor of breast cancer recurrence. Detection of CTDNA positivity provides an opportunity to treat patients at the time of molecular relapse prior to development of overt clinical relapse. We can use it to assess response of neoadjuvant chemotherapy and adjuvant treatment because it is able to provide real-time information about how the cancer is behaving. Now, neoadjuvant chemotherapy and adjuvant treatment has curative intent. And so being able to monitor disease and detect minimal disease is crucial in order to assess treatment and change it if needed. We can also use it to monitor progression of metastatic disease because the CTDNA levels are associated with tumor burden. And so any change may represent an indirect measure of treatment response. It may also help us detect potential disease progression even before it's detected on imaging. So are there any disadvantages of CTDNA? Well, the sensitivity of CTDNA testing may not be as sensitive as tissue sampling. And this is particularly true if the amount of CTDNA in the blood is too low to detect. In addition, it may not be as specific as tissue sampling. If you take a tissue biopsy, you know exactly where it's coming from. For example, the breast or the lung. With CTDNA, it may not always be possible to determine the location or the type of the origin cancer. So what does the future hold for CTDNA? Well, I would say that the future is bright. In cancer diagnosis and treatment, it has shown real promise in early stage cancer detection and in monitoring treatment response. It can also be used to guide personalized treatment decisions. Even though at the moment, the technology is still in its infancy and more research is needed to fully understand its potential in clinical practice, CTDNA has the potential to revolutionize the way we diagnose and treat cancer in the future. I'll see you in the next video.